Hello everyone. Welcome once again to Pam Reading Freya. In this occasion, I'm going to be doing a reading about the coronavirus, what I see. Um, it's going to be happening either in the following months and the rest of the year. As I had already pulled some cards and I had meditated and I have received some information. I actually was not going to be doing a video like this, but people started asking, oh, come on, just tell us what you see, what is your opinion, um, your visions, or things like that. And I'm like, okay, okay, so I might as well, um, I will do something, okay? Just because I consider that it is important for everyone to, to have to be more conscious, okay? To be more conscious about uh, what they are doing and how are they handling um, the situation. Um, it's important not only to think of yourself, but also to think about others, okay? So I would throw my opinion, what I saw, and what I see on the cars happening, okay? So the first thing I began seeing um, about the coronavirus is that, you know, the time is going to keep passing, time is going to keep progressing, even though we might feel like we are, a, we are stuck either in our homes or stuck when it comes about projects, ideas, and aspirations we have for the future, things are going to continue to move forward. Even when it looks to us, maybe it's going to look to us that um, the, gov the government is not doing anything, they're not researching, they haven't come up with, um, you know, with a vaccine or with a cure. I just want to tell everyone that that is not the case, okay? They are working hard and they are trying to continue uh, making things available for everyone. This is and in all aspects, okay? Uh, medicine, um, necessities, food, water, and all the things we all um, in the families need. Even more now that we have the children at home, okay? Because um, the children are going to school, it's going, every household in, in, all around the world is going to be needing to buy more stuff. So the first thing I please wanna ask everyone, please don't think only of yourself, okay? Think about other people. Only buy what you are going to be needing for this week. Don't be hoarding food, don't be hoarding toilet paper, um, don't be hoarding water. Every time you do something like that, Please think about it. It's going to leave someone without it. It's going to leave children without water. If they need to boil water, I mean, most people buy bottle. some people, okay? Not most people. Some people buy um, water for, for, their, for their babies. Uh, they need formula. They need diapers. And if you overbuy, please think about that, okay? You are leaving someone without it. And it's making things difficult. It's making things difficult. Um, and this can be also uh, be um, having more misunderstandings and arguments in the household. Okay. The next thing I'm seeing is that um, some of you are going to maybe feel either sad or be losing hope. Um, this comes more to me um, either you I think that we're, the root of this for many of us is going to be our parents okay uh, if your parents are old like older than 60 um, then you are going to be worrying about them if they are doing okay you are going to be worried about uh, them contracting the virus and this is going to be something that is maybe going to be going around in many of, of our minds. Also, the worry I see 
is going to be about children, about children, uh, if they are safe, if, um, what can we do, okay? What more can we do to either protect them and um, keep them safe? I think many of us are going to be worrying about that and the well-being of our parents and older people. Um, I think also some of you that um, some people are going to not be able to, to not be stubborn, to not be selfish. And comfort is important, okay? We all like, okay, everybody wants to be comfortable. Everybody wants to have what they need. Uh, but in this, I think it's highly advisable that we right now come from a place of love and, and not only think of ourselves. Another thing that I'm getting right now, okay? An animals, animals. Um, maybe that is part of the worry that some of us are going to have. What is our, 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 our animals are safe? What should we do to protect them? And things like that. But you know what? I just heard animals. I don't know why. And I, if I get something else, something more, I will come back to touch that point. Um, for us, it's going also to be difficult. I'm seeing for many of us because um, we cannot stop working. We cannot, um, we cannot be responsible for our responsibilities. Okay, this, this to me comes like a pile of things. Okay, if uh, you are not working, maybe many of us are going to be worrying about how am I going to pay the rent? How am I going to pay my water, my gas, my... Uh, my medicines, how am I going to be able to afford all those things that um, we cannot just stop um, needing, okay? Some of us are going to have, be having a lot of a lot of stress and, and a lot of worry. Like, okay, this is, at times, we, many of us are going to feel like it's too much, too much, okay? Um... The next thing I'm seeing also is um, many of you that had dream, and this is also more for, for, from the perspective or of young people, okay? Many of you were going to start college. Many of you had plans and ideas about what you, are going, what you were going to do, your dreams, your aspirations in life. I see a lot of that. A lot of those things are going to be uh, on hold for now. Um, this is also telling me. Okay, it's important, okay, because I'm seeing this in two different ways. Some of you are going to be on hold with your plans and ideas, and what are you? What are your plans, what you were planning to do in the following um, six months? Also, if some of you have children, and there can be some kind of um, signs, okay, of some of your children thinking, you know what, I'm not going to be applying for this, or I'm not going to be working putting any efforts, okay, into my school uh, because, uh, because what, 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 is, what is happening right now, okay? It's important to, for all of us to keep an eye on our children, okay? Because if we don't do this, they are going to fall behind. Like, for example, uh, they need to revise their reading. It's important to keep reading at home. It's important to keep doing um, the work that they need to do at home. It's important to continue education. If they have to do it online, please um, 
you be the one that says, you know what, I think you have taken a break for already a week or so, please begin doing something. Begin doing something either online, begin looking into what are your plans and ideas uh, once you graduate, if they are graduating, if they are 17, 18, uh, because um, many of our children are just going to want to fall back and relax and not make any, continue making any efforts, okay? And I think this will be a mistake that we can do, okay? So what is advice for our children? It's important to tell them that everything is going to be okay. We will have solutions and we, and we, and we will continue to, to, to handle this situation day by day. Because also, I see how some children are going to come to you asking questions. It's important to be ready about what you are going to say and how you are going to, to you know, to answer those questions. Because I have ha had some of those questions, okay? Um, are we all going to be okay? Is this the end of the world? Why is this happening? Um, is all the is everybody that is older mom is it going to die is it, is grandma and grandpa are going to be okay these are all the kinds of questions that your children might come to you uh, to ask okay and sometimes um, if you are not prepared to answer some of those questions maybe it can kind of choke you because um, choke you or make you think about okay okay our children are worried about that why are they thinking about that okay also the information that is coming in the news is also important not to hide it okay not to hide it because I'm not advising you to do that but to limit the amount of this coronavirus um, being in the home because we at times think, okay, they don't know, they are okay, but inside them, they are thinking about this, and they are also, as well, worrying, okay? So it's important to pay attention to our children, not let them fall back, not let them procrastinate, not, let, not letting them be too lazy. Also, as well, if they are home, they can help with um, responsibilities around the house, you know? This can be with many different things, cleaning, um, organizing their closets, um, maybe sweeping or things like that. I'm sure that we all um, are going to find ways to keep them occupied. Okay, that is with something, a point that I think is very important. Um, I also see that we are going to begin having some clarity. Okay, we will begin having some clarity about okay what is going on and what is better for all of us to do i think there's going to be also uh something coming out mm, okay let me come okay march october october might be an important month oh this can be in a matter of a few months because August. August is something that I also keep hearing. I think at uh, the month of August either we are going to have clarity or maybe things begin changing. This can be in different ways, okay? Because um, I'm seeing um, like many of us or there is going to be going around some, some information that is going to make us feel, okay, had we been lied to in certain points about this? Or why this information that is important to us was not out in the open? Okay, it's like when we feel in, okay, something, something was hidden or something was not available to us, 
but and then it comes out and we all feel like okay now I understand or we have clarity about what is be what is the next step or how we are going to resolve everything that has been said everything that has been happening and everything in the way this some people had been acting about um, the situation with the coronavirus okay healing I'm I'm seeing um, we will heal from this we will get out of this June June is going to be also an important month where where we begin seeing maybe some results okay okay we are keeping this under control um, we feel a little more safe we are beginning to 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 move yeah move us into recovery uh, we are beginning to heal from this but I also hear one year okay so maybe one year from now also we will be in a better we will all we will if all of us will be better it's because I'm hearing all of us will be in a better either also state of mind and we will all of us be better in a better situation okay in a that's exactly what I'm hearing we will all of us be in a better situation we all be better getting out of this um, it's important for all of us to please not to worry that it's not going to be enough or that we are alone uh, going through this situation because I'm hearing um, especially single mothers I think that they that they are going to be worrying more about how to handle the situation but all, the main root of this okay this is for all of us we will make it out of this because we are um, we are all together in this okay and things like this is what connect us to one another things like this is what it always brings people together in an understanding the helping each other is going to be important the not thinking only about ourselves is going to be important and love is what is going to help us get out of this and in this I keep seeing hearts okay I, when I was meditating love is important why is important because that is going to bring us together and this is why I decided to wear this big heart because um, love and caring and understanding how we are all in this together um, is going to be important especially for everyone to not be pinpointing fingers okay it came from China and you, are, you see a Chinese people and you feel like you know telling them something negative it's going to be important to please not do that to all of us um, love each other care about each other um, be more conscious about uh, what we are buying how we are treating others and how we are um, thinking okay how we are thinking because being staying positive and staying optimistic um, when we go through the darkness of the tunnel it's going to be important and it's going to also show our true selves and our true values okay so please everyone think about that and please um, um, evaluate evaluate think about um, what I'm trying to bring across okay when it comes to others also okay if it is go also going to be important 
to pay attention to your surroundings, to pay attention of what is going on online, especially when it comes to helping others, okay? This is going to be um, needed for many in many different ways. And this is um, you make the first move. You be the one to share with others. Share with others if you can in any possible way. This is going to be in different ways, okay? With what you have, your toilet paper. <laughs> Starting with your toilet paper, okay? If you have too much of something that you had accumulated, share it. Be you the one to offer to your neighbors. Like, for example, if you have too much of this and you like, you know what? I feel so remorseful of me having this wall full of toilet paper or soap or germex i feel so bad because you have to know okay many are going without it you be the one go to your neighbors across the street you know what i am a saver i had accumulated all this over a period of time please feel free to come knock on my door and ask me if you need this or that or that that is going to be important okay that is what is going to bring us together that is where the love that I'm trying to, to show you is going to, to flourish. Also, I'm hearing you have to be the one who offers. If you have too much money in the bank, offer to help either family members, neighbors, and people around you. If you, um, if you can do it and be the one taking the initiative to do it, okay? That is the main message for that. I also hear um, now, um, and this comes more with a vision that I had um, while I was meditating, okay? There's going to be something going, uh, going round and round. Um, also, there's going to be um, information, okay, there's going to be something that is going to be going around and around, um, going around and around, but this doesn't reach a conclusion. And to me, this can be information of people saying things about the virus or, or anything like that. But with this, I also hearing there is bad news about someone or something that is important. This can mean um, there is going to be some bad news about someone in power or about someone that a lot of people cares about. In this, what I saw is a lot of people, okay? A lot of people, a multitude of people, and they are gathering in an in a area. But when I saw this, I noticed how their faces look sad and how some are turning away from, from this person in power that is speaking. To me, it looks like it could be the president saying something or someone, this can be the news, something that is going to be going around um, as side news that are bad news. And with this, I also see, okay, <clears throat> excuse me, this can be in different ways. This can be from a president of a nation or a, or, um, or um, the president of a nation, or this can be the Pope. Maybe something, I'm just hoping that the Pope is not going to get this virus and he is going to be sick uh, with this virus. Because I see the church being as important in, in this, or someone in the religion um, bringing this bad news, and all I can say, because that is part of what I saw, 
people being sad about this news. And this to me looks related to the church. Okay? This can be the Pope, this can be someone important, this can also be a president or someone in power. Um, and this is again, uh, join me the month of August. Okay, we need to listen. We need to listen and pay attention of what is uh, best for us to do and how to do it. We cannot continue to be stubborn and and be blind, okay? And be blind because many of us are in a routine, okay? Are in a routine or are used to certain things, okay? I'm, I'm just hearing, okay, it's time to listen, but it's time not to just hear. It's time to listen. It's time to pay attention, again, to all your surroundings, to everyone around you. Again, the person in power, I, I already mentioned that. Let me see what else I'm getting. Okay. Things are not going to turn out how we are hoping right now or how we or how we have imagined them, okay? This is going to take maybe more time than we expect. But this is something that we had already deal with in the past. And it's important for all of us to know and understand the solutions will be at reach. Also, okay. The other thing that I'm seeing getting, because I keep hearing again, the person in power, okay? This again can come from a president, or this can also come as a, as a help. Something that a president has already done is going to do it again. And this can be to help us financially, or this can be to... It's not all of that we will need, but it will alleviate, okay? Maybe this can be that a president of a nation is going to say, you know what, we are going to give this amount of money to everyone going through these situations. We are going to be there to help. The, the aid or the, um, the aid of the help is going to be there. Okay, now I'm hearing um, ROG or ROA. R O A ROA or ROG. Maybe I'm not hearing it hearing it clearly. I don't know what that word is. I don't know if it could be important, but um, if I'm hearing it, it's for a reason. Okay. Um, okay. Going back with the to the financial assistance or money being there or some help being there, coming from. Uh, from a person in power, coming from a president, coming for a nation, telling, you know what, we are going to be doing this. It's important, I don't know why, but I'm hearing or I'm feeling like um, not having the energy. Now I'm hearing also um, 2028. Okay, wait a minute. September, September the 8th. September the 8th can be an important month. September 8th can be an important day or something like that. One year, uh, month 7. Okay, let's see March to March. But the month seven is uh, May, June, July. Okay, so July is going to be an important month for all of us. Maybe solutions, maybe something is going, is going to be going on. Also September, this can be also July of this year or July of next year. Um, G6. <laughs> G6. Okay, this can mean that maybe some companies are going to be coming out with G6, even though I I know, okay, uh, they just came out with they just came out with 5G, but something around gigs or 
services is going to be going around also. I think that many of us are going to be uh, feeling uh, like stuck or undecided on what is best for us to do or how to handle the situations. But also, again, September, August, August and September, by then, by that month, we are going to be having more clarity and we are going to be having um, the clarity and understanding, okay, things look like they, they are improve, improving and now we, can, we are having clarity, okay? What are we going to do next? How are we going to do it? And we have been clouded in our minds about um, how we are feeling, about what we are saying, about our ideas and plans and bringing these plans and ideas into actual things that we are going to begin doing. So by August and September, I see all this being more clear, uh, many of us having more clarity, having more inner peace, and, and either having solutions at hand or understanding clearly, okay, this is what, it, what, it, what is um, important for us to do okay right now March um, July again July September August all those months are going to be important for us uh, right now we are in between um, the darkness and the light okay it's not darkness but it's just a sense okay let's change it let's change it because I'm see I'm hearing that's not how, that's reward that, okay? Right now, we are seeing things in black and white. We cannot uh, clearly see where are we going to be heading. But, believe me, we will move to um, seeing, um, seeing everything how it was, and how we, and, and in the things that you know, that we love and we feel passionate about, in the things that we love that we feel passionate about, we will get there. We are um, not there yet, but slowly and surely we will get there. Okay, I was getting something else. Let me see if I can. Um, okay. It passed. It passed because of this black and white and all these things that I was seeing. Um, okay, I got it now. I got it now. Okay, one very good thing is going to to come out about um, this um, because everyone is being more careful because everyone is being more conscious about what they are doing. Um, the good thing about this. Este either other, if including other illness that we had been dealing with in the past, those are also going to be less. The reason why is going to be because we are being more clean, okay? Uh, men are going to the bathroom and are being conscious, you know what? I need to wash my hands. I need to... I need to get the germs out of my hands. We are being more conscious not to touch our eyes, not to put things in our mouth, not to eat our nails, and things like that. Those are things that uh, is going to help everyone. And it's going to, to take other viruses also um, to be very low, okay? Why? Because we are more conscious, we are using more hand sanitizers, we are washing our hands more often, we are being more careful, everybody that is covering their mouth, is, is coughing on their elbows, because we don't wanna make anyone else sick. Everyone is being more conscious, everyone is caring more, and everyone is going to be more careful um, about going outside and how we are doing all these things, okay? And that is the good part, it, including other illness that we have deal with in the past. We are going to be seeing less and less uh, about that.
So, I guess that is all I have for this reading. Please, um, let's, um, let's try to be nice to each other. Okay, the month of May. I'm just here in May. Um, could be a, something popping up uh, that it could be important about that, um, about the virus, okay? Some, some solutions can, can be available or at hand for us uh, to continue dealing with this. The last thing I was going to say, sorry, my dogs are barking. <laughs> you know what? When the, every time the bell rings, it's like a target. <laughs> it's a target for the dog. <laughs> and like, well, I don't know if you, some of you know, but I have two big dogs. Um, one is a golden retriever, and the other one is a new fee pal. New fee pal. New fee pal. <laughs> okay, it's a new Foundland mixed with puro, and he is very big and beautiful. Maybe sometime I will share some pictures. So, anyways, uh, that is all I have. For now, thank you for listening. Thank you for being here. Please um, comment something. How did you feel about the virus? What are your concerns? Uh, what are you thinking? What What would you do if um, you have the power to 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 do something or change something? Um, I'm. I'm interested about hearing uh, what is your opinion. Um, what is your opinion on how people are acting, on how people are dealing with this, what are your concerns, what you think, what you feel. So please leave that in the comments. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel. So when another video is being uh, published, you will be notified. Turn on the bell, like, share, subscribe, and also thank you for all. Thank you to everyone that is here. Thank you to everyone that listens. Thank you to everyone that cares. I wish you all a wonderful day. Bye.